Oh, hello. Tonight we're going to be making a mushroom uh, cream pasta. And right on the top, I've got a pan that I put about a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. It's melted down over a medium low heat, sort of a low hot, high low, and then some salted boiling water. First step after I have that is I'm going to put a little salt in with my butter and olive oil. And then I'm going to add eight ounces of mushrooms. I bought pre-sliced since they were on sale. And I'm going to cook these guys down for about seven minutes until they're cooked down nicely. Um, if you've washed them or they've been recently washed, it might take a little bit longer. So we're going to cook those guys down, stir them every once in a while. Here, get them coated. I put a little salt in there because that helps pull out some of the moisture and makes it extra good. So I'll come back in about seven minutes and show you where they're at and show you the next step. Okay, so my mushrooms are pretty much cooked through right now and they're ready to go. Next step is I'm gonna add in about a small diced shallot here and we're gonna cook that with the mushrooms for about two minutes here. And you're gonna see them get swelted down, melt, blah, 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 melt it down a little bit and golden. And it smells really good here. At this point too, I am going to add in my, excuse me, add in my pasta because we want to cook just a bit al dente under where you want. So I typically cook this for about my pasta, since we're using linguine, for about nine to 10 minutes to get it fully al dente. So we're gonna need about eight minutes to cook on that. So it's gonna go into the salted water here. Um, I end up using about three fourths of a pound for my family. You might need more, or if you make more, double this. I mean, obviously go with it. So we'll cook it here and keep going on this. Got about a minute here. I use white button mushrooms, but you can mix these up. You can use all kinds of different mushrooms. We're getting a pretty good spot here with that shallot and mushroom. It smells really fragrant. So our next step is we are going to first set my timer that I forgot to do for that. And then we're gonna add about two cloves of minced garlic here um, and put that in. If you've got a garlic press, that's great. If not, you can just use pre-minced or mince it yourself garlic um, and it should give just the same amount of flavor, same amount of impact. I generally find about a teaspoon and a half of the pre-minced stuff equals about one clove, regular clove. Um, but then again, I do like my garlic flavor. So we've got that going here and it's smelling good. We're only going to want to do it for about 30 seconds. So about another couple seconds here. And we're going to deglaze the pan. And that's going to get all these nice flavors that I have in the pan that built up and sort of sunk in and it's going to come out. Um, I've got a third of a cup of white cooking wine here. And we're going to add that in and deglaze our pan. And we're just going to turn around just to see it nice and bubbly there. Ooh, it smells really good. Um, if you have a regular wine, you can use that too. If you're in a pinch and you don't have it, um, you could also use any sort of really acidic liquid will work really well to deglaze a pan. So don't worry. Okay, so now that we have that, our next step is we're going to put just a sprinkle of some fresh diced up parsley. I love parsley flavor, so I'm going to be a little aggressive there. And I'm going to give it all a nice stir. Our next step is we are going to put in three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream. And this step is not optional, as is the parsley um, there. But I will mention an optional step is that you can either uh, put some pepper in here, some red chili pepper if you like it, or, which I will be adding here, the zest of one lemon. Uh, be careful when you're doing this. If you go too deep, you get the pith, and that can create a very bitter taste. I'm going to turn this up to a medium here or medium low, just a little up, not too much. Bring this to a simmer and let everything sort of mellow together and soak together and get all that flavor. Um, while we're talking about that, you can also, um, with this, excuse me, you can serve this with any protein you want or you can add it in too. At this step, I would add it pre-cooked in here. Um, so like a pre-breaded or a Parmesan chicken breast would be really good. Um, beef would be great. Um, did you have really strong gamey flavors with the mushroom? You could even work with something like a game meat there as well. Uh, 
just sort of up to you what you want to serve it with. So we're bringing this up to a simmer, and when it gets there, I'm going to turn it down even just a bit there, just to let everything cook. And then when my pasta is just about al dente, where I like it, we're going to add it in and keep cooking everything. So we'll come right back with that. Okay, so my pasta is just where I like it. I'm going to take it out and add it to the pan that you already see it's boiling there. And it's going to get a little goopy when I add this in. So we're going to keep this bad boy, the pot with the salted water, going and boiling here. And add all my linguine in. It's just a little under where I like it, which is good because we're going to spend about two minutes here just mixing everybody up, stirring everyone up there. We want to keep this pasta water and keep it going. So, ooh, our pasta does not want to come out. So we're going to grab a quick pair of tongs to grab these pieces so they don't burn on my stove top here. Heat resistant counters, gotta love them. Okay, there, get the last little bits. If you miss a noodle, not the end of the world. A little more scoop just to be sure. Okay, then we're also gonna start adding in a quarter cup of the boiling pasta water. So that's why we're not turning that on. And we're just gonna give this about two minutes and just keep stirring everybody up and making sure they've got a good flavor. Um, here, get everything stirred in. I did forget I was going to put in about a teaspoon and a half so far of fresh cracked pepper. You can add more or less, depending on what you like. And I tend to salt my pasta pretty heavy. Um, if you don't do that, you can always add just a little more than I do. I'm just doing three cracks for my salt grinder here. And I'm going to give this about two minutes. And get everything stirred up. There. Turn that heat up just a hair. Go. Look how good that looks already. All right, if it gets too thick or too goopy, um, I will add just some more water to thin it out. But right now it's looking really good. Um, pasta water is sort of the secret, like the big restaurant secret, to get your uh, sauces to stick to your pasta very well. Um, so that's why you actually will find if you look up and you go on like Amazon or other purchasing sites, you'll find like a pasta boiler. They're a double boiler and it's usually a uh, like a pot within a pot and that inner pot has a sieve and they pull that out so they can keep that pasta water. So we're going to keep that going here. It's looking really good. It's bonding with the sauce. The mushrooms are going in everywhere. Um, here. go okay when it looks like it's all pretty well absorbing i'm gonna add just a little more water it's starting to get a little gloopy not too bad but it's looking just about perfect there i mean it's a little hard to see there but you can see how just well that sauce is covered and glistening all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kill the heat here the pan is going to keep a lot of heat and i'm just going to still keep my pasta water going you could probably kill it though we're almost done um and it'll still stay boiling for what we need and hot enough for what we need and we're going to add half a cup of, excuse me, of Parmesan cheese there and a bit more parsley, just some fresh, that'll give a little pop of color. We're also going to top it with this cheese and more parsley, but it's just going to give it so much more color and flavor there. And we're just going to stir it into all that cheese sort of melts down and gets stuck between. Now this is getting really gloopy, so keep adding quarter cup at a time, this pasta water, and that'll help everything thin out and the flavors distribute and it'll look really good. Um, oh, look how shiny that sauce is and how, oh, I wish you could smell it through here. It's so good. Um, I think we'll give it one more here because we've given it about two minutes there. That pasta's pretty much cooked. We'll give it about about an eighth of a cup there. And then we're just gonna plate this up here. It'll look really good on a blue plate here. There. I like using my pasta uh, spoon for doing these plates and doing these dishes because it just makes it so easy to plate compared to just using a regular spoon. Or trying to use tongs for example that's just my personal preference do whatever works for you 
All right, and then we are going to finish it with just a little more parsley and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And enjoy.